you get what you receive. Like if you put negative energy in the universe and, and around you, neg nothing but negative shit's gonna happen to you. Everybody's your friend when you have it, but as soon as you don't have it and you run out, everybody acts like they don't know you. Like people would steal clothes and towels. And, like, you know, somebody would just come in and they don't have nothing and they would take their socks. And like, no, nah, we had to stop that real quick. Me and a couple of the bigger homies, like, my home, shout out my homie, Mario Rodriguez. Wait, where are you guys all locked up at? D300, Delta, Santa Fe County. The one that I'm pointing at right now. The one on my face? Yeah. I got it in jail. In Santa Fe County. Good girls, they all Spanish too. They all Spaniard women. I love Spanish women. Shout out Spanish women, y'all are fucking on point. All right, G. Cool. You got a lighter and all that? Got one. Yeah, all right. Thank you, bro. Yeah, bro. Stay up, fam. Yeah, man. Have a good one. All right, bro. I right, chill. Good to be out, huh? Yeah, hell yeah. It feels really good, dog. Yeah. He did show us how to bundle home and auto at progressive.com and save a bunch of money. Oh, black. Of course, my dad. He's more like a homie. He wasn't really there, but he tried, I guess, you know. And uh, I haven't talked to him in like four years. I went to um, Santa Fe High. I never went to prom or anything like that, cause I was either moving around or not even, just not even in it. it was, everything was just so hectic growing up. Like we were never, it was just never stable. We never had a car and, or money or anything. When nobody had faith in me, like I didn't even have faith in myself. And then the pitcher threw it and boom, I cracked it right over center field. And I ran to first, and that dude from third ran in, and he he went, he got, he scored, and I got picked up by the coach. My first base, he picked me up, and everybody started like, you know what I mean? It was like a movie, and I got picked up, and I started to cry. Who is it? Telephone. Who is it? I don't know. I need to ask. Hello? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. Yeah, it's a very special day. Uh, it's the day that I got my freedom back. And, um... Got to see my family and my friends and my city. I was released from I was released from jail. Santa Fe County. How long were you in for? I was in for four months and uh like almost two weeks. Yeah, that just sucks. I mean it went by fast but like the last the last Three days went by so slow because I knew I was getting out. Yo, just to get by, no lie, puffing on the lot. I've been through hell and back. I ain't going back before my baby ever go right back. Okay, that's good. One more. At the end of the day, the most fuel efficient hybrid in the world. Yeah, I came from nothing, I came from nothing, so I want it all. I came from nothing, so I gotta have it all. I'm Hispanic and a little bit native on my dad's side. Best part about being Hispanic, having, um, a grandma who's just a ride or die and she she loves you no matter what and doesn't judge you and guides you and basically it's just your best friend i think all nanas are all hispanic nanas are pretty much 
you know what I mean, the best people out there, besides your pops and all that. Uh, my mom, she, she was my best friend. She passed away in, in uh, 2013, I think. Like, I, know it's, I know it sounds messed up, like I can't really remember the date the exact day, but it's just like something I don't like to remember. It's like a blur, you know. Uh, you know, my mama was my best friend. We were in the streets together, slept at the park together. When she didn't have no place to go, I didn't want her to be out by herself, so I went out there with the blanket. She was pale and stuff, and I seen her take her last, like her last breath. I seen, I watched her and all my family left. All my friends and family are crying. And they already knew, I guess, you know, like she was just, they finally, we finally said our goodbyes. They did, and I had to stay, like something made me stay, I don't know. I just, I just stayed for an extra, like, minute or two. set up next to each other, I remember that. You know, selling food, selling good food. Coming out with like two grand a night. One time uh, I seen my ex at the club, Skylight. I seen her there and I ain't seen her in a couple years and she was with some dudes. And I was trying to talk to her and we almost fought, almost fought them, they mass fools. She was all drunk. Someone just flat out talking shit about my, about my family. I probably flat out, you know, smack them across the face. They meant it, you know. Ain't nobody fuck with my family, especially my close family. If anybody talk about my grandma, it's on. It's it's a rap. It's on site. Like, I don't always just always worry about the next day. Worried about like what my mom was doing out there on the streets. Like I never, I didn't know where she was at, and they used to eat at me all day. Uh, my cousin was, I thought, was my dad. Started remembering him. You know, and he would he would watch over us, babysit us, eat, feed us, watch us while my mom was at work. I just wanted to make it for my mama, bro, straight up. Like, I don't know how it feels. I, I imagine it would, you know, like other people, like when they finally fucking make it and they're able to get their mom money and shit, I, I bet you they feel amazing. Like a dream come true, like this is what life's about. She's still, she's still with me. She's still watching me, and I know she's gonna be proud of me when I'm, when I make my dreams come true. <laughs> 